So here we're looking at detector objects, uh, which are special objects that can detect rays going through them and record the power as a function of position, angle and wavelength. Um, what I'm showing here are two specific detectors. As you see, as I click on them, they're drawn in yellow as a highlight color. Uh, the first is a detector polar, uh, and this measures power as a function of angle. And the second is a detector color, which is an eye response uh, detector. There's also a detector rectangle that uh, measures power without the eye response, so it's purely radiometric, and other detectors for specialized purposes as well. In addition, any geometry object that uses facets can be used as a detector object as well. So what I have here is a detector polar, and it detects light over an angular range like so, and that's 180 degrees measured from one pole. So that's giving me a full sphere. If I make that 90 instead, you'll see that I get 180 degrees measured from pole here to, to, to here. So I'm getting a hemisphere polar detector. I actually want a full spherical polar detector. This is 50 millimeters radial height and it uses 180 uh, pixels in the radial direction and 180 pixels in the angular direction. I then have a detector color which is simply placed here. It's 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters and it uses 100 pixels in each direction. What I'm going to do now is trace some rays and Whilst that's tracing, I'll just explain that the source I'm using is a 10 million ray source uh, of a particular uh, source that's measured as a, as a radiant source model uh, uh, with full angular, um, spatial and color information. So these rays are actually colored by the wavelengths of the source. And this is, as you'll see, this is a white uh, light source, but each individual ray has its own wavelength and that makes up what we'll see as an overall white light source. If we go to the detector viewer, the first thing that I'm showing here is a directivity plot where you can see the power as a function of angle and you can enter any scan angles that you like. Uh, they're showing you here uh, 0 and 90 so you can see the power as a function of angle. Or if I go to settings, I can choose to use a true colour plot which is an eye coloured response of what the uh, polar output of this uh, source looks like. So you'll see that it's a kind of a uniform white, except as you look straight at it, right at its edges, and there is some kind of shading in angle space along this x-axis. If you want to see that a little bit more um, easily as a, as a total power, then using a false colour plot is very useful. And that then shows me the response um, where the, the red material, the red uh, shading is the hottest part of the uh, source or, or of the detected light and the blue is the coldest part. So that shows me what the power uh, uh, looks like on the, this polar detector. When I move to the other detector, this is showing me now the true colour output seen on this flat detector here. And if I just highlight something other than that detector, you can see it on the uh, layout plot as well. And because this source doesn't put out much power it's right along the z-axis or along uh, that, that uh, z-angle, you can see how the power has a dark region here and then it's got a, a bright region here at the angles at which the source is most bright. So just jumping back to, to, to this and its directivity plots. Whoops. You can see that the, the, this is the half directivity I've brought up by mistake, but most of the power is going out at an angle. And that's what the uh, detective viewer here is showing. And again, I can choose to show this in true color or in false color. And I can also take 
slices through the data as well. So I take a cross section row, I can get right away through that. So that's an X slice. If I take a cross section column, I'll get a Y slice through the data and so on. And I can set which which uh, uh, row to, to use. Row column zero always means the central row. So detectors are very, very useful for showing you power as a function of position or angle. Here it's being shown as a, as a position of angle on either a flat surface or a spherical surface.